Hello friends welcome to a new episode of bikini and lingerie review the purpose of this channel is to help you in selecting the best bikini or lingerie for you or for your partner based on the design material used and comfort as always we came up with nine set of bikinis in this video and in the last we will choose the best one for you if you are new here don't forget to subscribe my channel and turn on all notifications so that you can get the latest videos as soon as they will be uploaded also please subscribe to the channels of these lovely ladies for which links can be found in descriptions Thanks and keep enjoying and do let me know what next you want to see. Now this one is nice but a little too short for my long torso. And a fun fact, let me just take this tag off. When I hear this fun fact, so this was such a random situation. I don't want to get into the details, but this fitting place that was trying me on for some of their dresses a couple weeks ago. They needed somebody to really quickly try on something and see if it really fits the mannequin, blah, blah, blah. But they were measuring my body and the height from this and this or the distance from waist to basically your neck was three inches longer than their usual model. So that explains a lot if they're measuring it on like a basic body shape and usually, you know, torso can be a little shorter, a little longer, minus three inches longer than their usual mannequin that made me feel like hey that's why i have this problem with all this one pieces and stuff because they're always so short on me so yeah three inches less would make this work but for me this is really kind of you know too short and then it goes into my private areas and it's not that comfortable so this is it i do love wearing red i think it's a cute design i don't know what i'm gonna do with this any suggestions? I just make a bow out of it. I kind of wish, I don't know, this could have been already tied up or maybe the bow should be right here instead of right here. It's kind of blocking too much here. What do you think? I can always cut it off and just tie it and make it work, but this is it. This is it. How do you guys like it? I think the red looks really nice on my skin tone as always. What else is here to say? Yeah, it just doesn't fit me, but it's very cute design. And I think a lot of the models that you shoot with are gonna love it. And your camera is gonna love it too. Three, two, one. <laughs> so this is Lucky Number 3, and this is Molly in red. When I first seen this, I absolutely fell in love because it's very, it's giving royal, it's giving vintage, it's giving sexy, it's giving 1950s. I don't know what it is. <laughs> Here is the back of it. Now for this one, I went ahead and I grabbed the three pieces. So I grabbed the suspender, the satin beautiful thong, and the beautiful bra. Now this bra does have a little bit of push up in it. It's absolutely amazing. The quality is just so good. It's very silky. This is real silk. So you gotta be careful with it. If you have fingernails, you don't wanna snag that. The actual strap is thick too. Very thick. I really love how they added the black detail, the lace. It adds that very sexy feel to it. The suspender also has kind of like this little, it's a little bit loose, so it's not super tight to the skin. It's kind of like a little skirt thing. I don't know, <laughs> but this is what it looks like all together. So at the store, they have an option to get the thong or the full panty. I went ahead and went with the beautiful silk thong. This is what it looks like. It fits perfectly underneath the suspender right here here's the strap of it right here and yeah the front is <laughs> these heels are really tall these are like actually like six inches so 
Um, definitely like the video because I'm gonna fall over. I love this one so much. Definitely comment down below what you think of this one in Molly in red. The detail that they put into this is absolutely outstanding. Very, very good quality. I can tell that this is going to last me for a very long time. And yeah, I'm just very happy with everything that I got. I'm going to do my little model walk for you. So it looks like up close, you can really see beautiful stitching. These are actually all handmade. That's why they are more premium. They're hand sewed. You can really see how beautiful this is. So what do we think of Molly? We like her. Do we love her? Comment down below. So first up we have this pink little set and I love it. Actually, I noticed all the pieces they sent me were the unlined bras because last time I actually brought like all padded ones and I don't need padding, <laughs> in case you didn't notice. But um, this is the first one that I got and it's called the Saskia, I think that's how you say it, in pink. So they did send me bigger bra sizes. That's one thing I mentioned in the last video. I got all 32 triple Ds. This is a 34 triple D and it actually fit much, much better. So I definitely loved that. As I said before, I love the detail in all of their pieces. The quality is phenomenal and I was much more comfortable in the correct size than I was last time because it was too tight. So this bra is $100 and I have it on the you know, last clip, so I still have some more adjustments where I could tighten that up as well. It has this really pretty orange little jewel and I love the orange detail. I have on the thong as well. I love the little jewel in the back. So fun. <laughs> I got it in an extra small and this one is $70. So the garter I'm wearing, I got in a size extra small, which fit amazing. And then I decided I wanted to really make that orange pop and I paired it with the Gabrielle Mango thigh highs. And I got these in a size small and they're 30 bucks. One thing I really loved about the thigh highs that they have, if you've ever bought thigh highs, um, usually they have like the silicone like strips in them to help them stay up. This whole piece is that. Like it's super, I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Well, I guess not the whole piece, but like half of it, the whole top half is that silicone. So they really stay up. And then I learned a little trick this last time. You like tuck, if you're like me, you got thick thighs because I usually hate thigh highs because they, yeah. To give you like a muffin top. I'm not personally a fan, maybe guys are, I don't know, but I tucked it, tucked it in. Thigh gap, hello. <laughs> so these are my new favorite thigh highs. I'm a fan, I highly suggest them. They're really, really nice quality, and I love the colors, it's very beautiful. We have another bodysuit on me right now, and I thought I already had one like this, but I do not. It's the same cut, but different design, so. This can be also used with your jeans, shorts, whatever, just a cute cami top. And of course, since it's a bodysuit, it's a little short on me. So yeah, not super comfortable, but this is the look. It's cute. I'm sure somebody's gonna like it, but you know, it just does not fit me. So yeah, that's about it. Basic black bodysuit, nice quality, nice design just kind of too tiny and if it's a bigger size it would be bigger everywhere not just lengthwise so i don't think i would even order a bigger size for my body but hey maybe you or you or you or you are gonna love it so 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 much i don't hate it i like i said i think it's nice and if you pair it with some cool bottoms i think this can work for daily wear with a jacket or something over it pretty cute pretty cute so this first one I have to show you today is called Brazilin. Um, when I first seen this in the store, I absolutely fell in love because I don't have anything like this in my collection. Um, I feel like that's always my excuse to getting really nice lingerie. <laughs> but this is what it looks like. Agent Productive. Honey Burdette, so it's very luxury. 
you're not gonna get any pulls in the seam. The lace is also very detailed. They do not skimp out on all this beautiful stitching and all the little fine details that they put into it. So this one did come with um, a garter and it also came with a huge panty that comes up to here. But I actually just went with the brown underwear because I think it's cute enough on its own. You don't need the full one. So. I love the detail that they added to the, to the bra. It has super sheer mesh paneling right here, but then it goes different with a line of silk. And this, all their stuff is actually real silk. That's why it's so much money. Um, but I think it's worth it. And the middle has the lace. It does cover you pretty well too. There's actually no push up in here, but the band of the bra has a nice support. In the back, you can adjust it. Super good. The thong is a size three, so they do UK sizes over there um, for Egypt provocateur. So this would be a size small in US. But the bras do run the same 34 double D. Their stuff runs a little bit small, so I went with the double double D, but I actually am the D. But yeah, these are what they look like. I think they're supposed to sit like right here at the hip. You don't want to pull them up. I had them like that. Kind of looks a little funny. So I'm going to pull them up right here. But I love the way this looks together. It's so pretty. It's so fun. And I just want to have them pair it with my favorite new heels. My red bottoms. Roslyn. Let's move on to the next one. Next up, we have the Gabrielle set. So this matches those thigh highs that I just had on. Naturally, wore them with this as well because it's the exact same color. I got the panties and the garter in a extra small, and then the bra is a 34 triple D. So again, we went up on the band size, much, much, much more comfortable. I actually had a little more room in the cups, but I think it's kind of the design of this. I think it's so pretty. Love the, it has these little like rhinestones on it or crystals, I probably should call them crystals. It sounds nicer. Crystals. And then another thing I discovered while I was trying this on is this bra actually unhooks on actually the front and the back. So I love that it's more versatile. I wonder if that would have helped because I had it, it was kind of sticking out a little bit on the sides. So you could cross the straps in the back. You could probably even make it a halter top, I bet. Let's see, can you clip these together? That's not a thing, you can't do that. <laughs> So they have to go back into the bra. So you could cross them, uh, which I think would look really cute and maybe where it's strapless, but I don't know, because these would stick out. But overall, I love the color of this one. This bra is also $100. And the panties I got in an extra small are $70. Again, I love the lace detail and the crystals. And then on the back, it has this fun little slit, like right above your booty. And then I got this one right on your booty. What's that for, guys? I don't know. The panties are $85, and then the garter belt, or I think they call it a suspender, is what, 70. And you guys, I'm gonna link everything down below with the prices and stuff like that, and the colors and sizes I'm wearing, and my measurements, so that you guys can, you know, kind of go from there on um, what may fit you. What I really loved about this, I thought it was so freaking cute, the little ruffles on the side, like a little tutu vibe, very cute, sexy, and fun. And then it has the stones, I mean, crystals. It has crystals on you guys, it's really cute. Like, just get it, and it looks bomb with the thigh highs. You're welcome. We have two more outfits to go, and now we're going wrist again with the long robe. And I'm gonna probably to show you in another mirror so you can really get the full length experience. So this is what we're dealing with. 
Long rope. Again, red, favorite color on my skin. Looks pretty nice. I am impressed, Evan Love. I am impressed. Look at that. Comes with underwear. I don't think it's adjustable. Oh yeah, it is adjustable right here. See, that's cute. Ooh, so flowy. So flowy. How do you guys like it? Put it in the comments down below. I would love to really hear your feedback. Not just because it's just a fun thing to read, but really just to see if we can agree on, you know, the stuff that we both like. So let me know, let me know. So this is the piece number two. This is Essie. Um, I absolutely love this one. It's so, so sexy. The detail that they put into this is incredible. It's absolutely incredible. This is the, I'm gonna kind of just do a little full look at it first. I'm gonna explain. So, let's start with these panties. So, obviously, it's very white lace. Like a normal white it's not ivory but it does have a little bit of um, ivory on these little lace panels so these are the underwear I love the detail that they added with these straps this is what made it really really sexy and different they actually do move in there too they added it to all of it so they had the underwear the back of the underwear you can make it tighter or looser. I really like the way it looks when it's tight because it makes your waist look super, super tiny. The back has three prong adjustables all hidden underneath it. Super seamless. And then the bra is just lace. There's no push up in here, but it does fit great and it does give you a little bit of cleavage. Super soft. And then also the little corset bands. I love this. What do you think of this one? Definitely comment down below what you think of this. I think it's super sexy and very feminine. I love it. So far, I really like the brand Agent of Couture. I will be getting some more stuff from them because the quality, you can actually tell the difference in quality. Not least, we have my personal favorite, the Christine Neon Yellow and Pink. That's inside out. <laughs> the Christine in Neon Yellow and Pink. I kind of feel like it's a neon green slash yellow, but hey, you know what? I'm not the one who named it. I think it is so beautiful. I honestly love all of Honey Burdette's colors. I think they do a really great job with their designs and colors, they're so fun and they look really nice. It definitely stands out. Like you don't look like no basic bitch in some Honey Burdette lingerie, okay? So this one, it reminds me of the other set that I posted in my last video. Um, it was like a neon, yellowish green color, like very similar sheer. It was really pretty, but it was a little small on me. This one, this bad boy, we actually went up in the cup size. So this is a 32G and much more comfortable. Fits, still barely gets the girls in there, but they in there, okay? This bra is $120, so it's 20 bucks more than the other ones, but honestly, I think it's worth it. It has the little, you know, hot pink stone in the middle. And then the little rings on the straps. Everything's adjustable, you know, like a normal bra would be. So the other garter belt, I was wearing extra smalls and those. This one runs a little smaller, so I actually got this one in a small and it is also $85.
Again, I love it just as much. It has the little stone dangling in the front that matches the bra. I think it's very fun and very cute. And I paired that with the Christine Neon Shears. Those are small and those are $30 as well. And then I'm wearing the Christine Thong in a size small and that is $70. I love the little stone on the back that matches the garter and the bra. Definite fan. Thumbs up on all three of these sets. So I will say I was right. So friends, Depending on the material, design, fit and finish, we choose this bikini as a winner for today's try on haul. Do let me know which one is your favorite.